All right, real quick before this video starts, make sure you follow me at 415 Kodai on Twitter and also GFX Comet. And we also got a Discord server. So uh, if you're interested, join. And I hope you enjoy this video. Before we get this video started, make sure you use the code YouTube for 15% off on all products on GFXcomet.com. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, check out the website. Welcome back to the channel. And uh, today we are going to work on a uh, kind of levitating thumbnail um i'm using my free blender lighting setup it's on our website gfxcomma.com for free you can go ahead and download it so let me go into render view so i can see i'm gonna delete the sphere and the ground so we're gonna take our rig and we're just going to throw him like that and also oops we're just gonna rotate him until he's kind of in a levitating position, right? And I'm just going to readjust the sun so it's not directly shining on him like that. Um, let's try this. Let's make this less bright. Turn it down. Boom. And general lighting. We have. Next to your eye. Alright, so I think I'm happy with this. Um, we could kind of adjust the pose, I guess. Maybe the, the legs. Should it be up or down? I'm not sure. <laughs> um, anyway, I think the head should be like this. Depends on what kind of pose you want, I guess. Um, I think this is fine. This is kind of dramatic. Yeah, I'm just going to do this. Once you're happy, go to your camera and set it up however you want. I'm just going to do this. And go to render. Alright, now I'm just going to add these, uh, the, uh, plane and the sphere back in. But I want to change the colors to a black color, so... Sphere, sphere, plane, sphere, plane, I'm gonna go plane, color black. Bump this down. There we go, and we just like this. New, same, same thing. All right, so we got this. Um, let's make, let's just make the scene a bit cooler. Let's make the scene a bit nicer. And just give me a second. Uh, Alright, so shift A on your keyboard, we're gonna add a cube. Now, with this cube right over here, we can scale, hit S, S, Y to scale this way, S, Z, scale up, S, S, Y, S, X. Alright, use G to move, and we're just gonna move this somewhere. Alright. So my idea is if we go new, change to emission, turn this up. That's pretty cool, right? At least I think so. Alright, uh, we could do control D. We'll do shift D to copy. And just move these around. Whatever. Once you are happy with that, we're gonna go into our camera and uh, go to render settings, and go to dimensions, and change to 1920, 1080, and we're just going to position our scene. Um, should we have it far away or close up? We could go. We go to our camera and let's turn this back. Alright, so we'll go to render and render image right over here. And we're just gonna hit save. Levitating uh, GFX. Hit save. Now we are going to move on to Photoshop. So I will see you over there. Alright, here we are. Um, the canvas is 1920 by 1080 pixels. As you can see, the resolution is 100. So now you just want to uh, import your render and the first thing we are going to do is right click and go to rasterize layer. We're going to use uh, our quick selection tool. 
selects our character real quick to separate it from the background right click select the mask so radius up smooth contrast and shift edge down hit ok go back to your moto and hit ctrl j to copy so now you see we have a separate character i'm kind of doing this as i go along so just uh bear with me because i'm still I'm figuring it out as well so for bad one boss you can copy my settings just uh, pause the video if you want so I'm gonna add an inner glow and I'm gonna do this blue color because they are around the character so it makes sense maybe screen no overlay yeah just very slightly um so yeah let's add a color lookup and let's just go through these and let's just go through some of these copy there we go copy again turn this back up this one is pretty cool Alright, now we're going to add a exposure. I'm going to try this. Exposure up, offset. You get my correction up. And we're just going to turn this down. Alright, so once you are... Alright, so once we have this, let's get on with the actual effects. So we're going to copy this. So, hold Alt and drag. And go to Filter, and Blur, and Motion Blur. Turn this up. As you can see, and we can use our eraser tool, erase these bits, and uh, turn this down as well. Trace some of these parts. Now we can copy this, right? Put this on top. And there we go. So uh, this looks a lot cooler. <laughs> yeah, I like that. There we go. Uh, we could copy this again, put this on top this time. Alright, and you can mess around with the blend modes if you want. Let's go um, color dodge and also this one. All right, I think the character is a bit too dark still, so I'm gonna add an inner shadow, white overlay. Turn this up. All the way up. All the way up. All right, so I'm gonna take everything and Control C. I'm just going to rotate it so the angle is a bit nicer. All right. Now, I'm just gonna copy the character again. We're gonna hit rasterize and we're gonna use our smudge tool. And we're just gonna pull to make the effect. And uh, we could also apply a motion blur to the smudge. There we go, as you can see. Anyways. Yep, erase some parts. That was very nice from the uh, preview. I'm gonna copy the character again and uh, rasterize it. Hold Control, click on the picture. Use black color. Alt Backspace twice. Control D to deselect. We're gonna use this for our shadow. Control T, and we're gonna use Shift to kind of do this. Filter, blur, and Gaussian blur. There we go. And we're just gonna drop this down. Alright, and now I'm gonna use my I'm gonna use the killer pack. Maybe we could use this. I'm not sure. Um rotate this and we're gonna go warp. I 
I don't know if I like that. Um, we could maybe make this work. Let's race this. All right. I, all right, I guess that's fine. <laughs> see what else we got. All right, we're just gonna take everything. So select the top layer, hold shift, and click on the bottom one. Control G to group. Control J, copy. E, Control E to flatten. And we're just gonna hide this. And Control A to select again. Control J to copy, delete, and copy this one again. So Control J. And we're just gonna go to the filter, camera raw filter. Wait for this, and we're gonna go basic. And you just want to mess with the shadows. I want that down. Texture up a bit. Clarity. I'm gonna turn clarity up because I'm going to go to you'll see in a second I'm gonna go to detail and turn noise reduction up and you can see it makes it look very nice all right to finalize everything and make it look cinematic I'm going to make a new layer go to my gradient it's on uh, linear and it's on black to transparent and we're just gonna go from the bottom to over here Go overlay. Normal. Something like this. And use your eraser tool. Just erase away the character part. And something like that. And new layer, we can go back to here, change to radio and turn reverse on. Something like this. All right. Um, we could add exposure again. Let's make it a bit like that. But uh, yeah, the rest is just going back and forth with these adjustments until you get a result that you like. So that is what I am doing right now. Just going back and forth. take everything same thing and I'm just gonna try one last thing I'm gonna go motion blur on the entire on the entire thing there we go I like how this looks right over here this is boring this is plain this is nice right so we go here erase out some parts Maybe lower the power just a bit. Just a bit. And I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna grab the shadow again because I want a prominent shadow right over here. But uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this uh, tutorial. I hope you enjoyed. I hope this helped you. We have so much more. We have so many more tutorials, videos, just everything coming soon. So if you can help us by hitting a like on this video, it helps the YouTube. It helps our video get um, more views, obviously. So uh, yeah, if this helps you, leave a like and I will see you all next time.